Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make this fall leaf. So for materials you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook, a 3.75 millimeter hook for the stem, and any color yarn that you choose to use. In the description box below I'll put the yarn that I used. So let's start off with a magic circle. And in the magic circle, we're going to put nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you're going to pull your magic circle tight, and then you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. Then you're going to chain two. That counts as your first half double crochet. And that same stitch that we just did, we're going to do a half double crochet. And the next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets. And the next stitch, two half double crochets. And in the next stitch, two half double crochets. Now you're at the top of your leaf and you should have in total, counting that first chain of two, eight half double crochets. So now in this next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, then you're going to do a chain two and you're going to do a pico stitch. To do a pico stitch, go down to the base of that chain of two and do a slip stitch. Then you're going to do another double crochet in that same stitch. Working down the other side of the leaf, you're now going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. So there's one and two, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. Then you're going to slip stitch to that first chain of two. Now it's time to pull out your other hook, the 3.75 millimeter hook. And now you're going to put that in and you're going to chain six. Then in the second chain from the hook, you're going to do a slip stitch. And you're going to slip stitch all the way down. You should have five slip stitches. Then to finish off, after you finish your last slip stitch, you're going to slip stitch into the base of the leaf right where we began. Then you're going to cut your yarn, leaving enough to work in. You're going to chain one and tie off. And you've finished your leaf. Now you need to work in your ends. And I wanted to show you that you can stretch this leaf to make it more elongated, or you can leave it the way it is. But by stretching it, you change the whole look of the leaf. And here's one that hasn't been stretched. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can find all my contacts in the description box below. Happy crocheting, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.